In 2023, the Tenant Assistance Project helped approximately 965 Lancaster County families. In nearly all their cases, they were able to avoid immediate eviction. Tab says of those cases, 16% of tenants were able to get their evictions overruled, while just 1% of renters helped were evicted. Some tenants either stayed and paid through renter assistance resources, but most families opted to move out. And if they complied with a landlord agreement, they avoided an eviction going on their credit report. So we do have a very good track record, but we can only help tenants who are present at the courthouse for their hearing. Rachel Tomlinson Dick with the Housing Justice Clinic at UNL says in Lancaster County, landlords can file a seven day eviction notice. If the renter can pay their past due balance within that time frame, then the landlord cannot move forward with the filing. But if not, the tenants typically have 10 to 14 days before a hearing is scheduled. If the renter doesn't show, Tab says things can get real fast. Within 24, 48, 36 hours, um, a sheriff or constable can be there forcibly removing the family from the home if the if the eviction judgment is entered on that day. Those with TAP say they are several reasons why tenants fall behind on payments, none of which deserve quick judgment, causing them to be homeless. Sometimes it's just something that happened in their life that made it unsustainable for them in that period of time. Wages have gone up some, but really haven't kept pace with the cost of housing. So for for folks that are on a fixed income, you know, that, you know, small change in the cost of rent or even, you know, groceries, that can make a big difference. The Tenant Assistance Project says they will be at the Lancaster County Courthouse on eviction hearing dates. And if you need help or support, look for the people with the clipboards.